Shall love and the, shoulder the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, strength. with all and your heart, God. and you shall love the Lord your God with all, all your this heart. Wow! Wow! What are we having here? So here we have Pasha Hukat. This is an artwork we did a few years ago. Okay, so for this Parsha, oopsie, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get on your knees, baby. Oh, oh. Okay, we have to do Malabar's here. We have to. Go ahead, mi amor. Get on your knees. Uh -huh. Okay, so for this Parsha, Parsha Hukat, uh, this is an old Parsha. Everything happened in this Parsha. Hashem commanded, a lot of things happened in this Parsha. Hashem commanded um, the high priest, actually, was Elazar the son of Aharon or Aaron to uh, burn a red cow. So it is well known as the red hay for today or the para aduma. Repeat after me. Para aduma. Para means cow y aduma means red. It, the red cow, the red hay for as it is known today. So for this workshop we're going to work on the para aduma, on the red cow. And we're going to find out what, what was the ritual of purification. How can this cow make a person clean? And, and what kind of person that this person could not get close to? A dead body. If you get close to a dead body, this person has to be sprinkled with the ashes of the para aduma, of the red cow or the red heifer. So today we're going to do our work based in this parsha, parsha hukat. Also, we see in this Parsha, everything happened in this Parsha. Miriam died, the sister of Moshe, and also Aaron died, the brother of Moshe. You can imagine how sad Moshe was. The people start complaining after Miriam's death. There was no water. It was 40 years after all these crazy things happening in the desert. They're close to it, and Moshe was already so tired of their complaining over and over and over. So, so there are a lot of interesting, interesting things happening in this Parsha. So let's see, let's see, let's see what, what's in the box, okay? Let's see what's in the box. What do we have today for, for Shahukat? Oh, let's see here that I have fire. I have fire, Shakti. Wow. And fire. Wow, right? Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> I have some sticks. I guess it's because it's for the wood. What do we have in here? Oh, how nice. Look, Samira. We have a red cow. A cow. You gotta find it in your box. Okay. It's a red cow. And, um, and, you see here, like the hair, let's per se, you know, for the red cow. Oh, uh, we have some ice up, uh, cedar wood, and the red, um, it's a red string. Let's see what is this all about. So, let's get to work. Let's get to work, and today we're going to read... From what does the Torah say? It's it read with me. Remember, this is a lovely book. This is the book that we love because it has so many amazing stories. God is cute. And special. He's special. And, and He's lovely. He's sweet. Sweet. What does the Torah say about this ritual of purification? Let's read together. So in Parsha Chukat, Hashem spoke to Moshe and Aaron saying, This is the decree of the Torah, which Hashem commanded, saying. So the decree in Hebrew is Chukat. So Chukat is by the Vera Donai and Moshe Lemor and Moshe. Ba'el Acharon Lemor. So by the Vera Donai and Moshe, 
ישראל החדום לאמור. סוד חוקה. So חוקת is a decree. So it's a decree. That's why you say decree in Hebrew. חוקת. אוקיי? The entire decree of the Torah. So it's the entire decree of the Torah means how to get cleansed and purified. I love you a lot. Uh-huh. This is the decree of the entire Torah. I speak to the children of Israel and they shall take to you a complete red cow. So you're going to grab your cow here, okay? And this is the artwork that we are going to make today. You're gonna, I'm going to put the, I'm going to place the, um, the cow here. We're going to be doing the artwork. As, as we read, we're going to do the artwork, okay? We're not going to do the whole uh, procedure of the ritual, but I'm going to tell you about it, okay? Let's work together. Okay, so we see here the, the para abima. I'll put some light in here so you can see it. You have your paper and uh, we're gonna put some glue. It says a completely red cow. Now if you have red, crayon, or color pencil, just go ahead and paint the face in red, completely red. I love you too, my amor. So, you put glue all over, and then you have the top part. Sorry, the bottom. Sorry, the bottom. Here, of the paraduma. You just put it like this, okay? This, this is a completely red cow. And Hashem uh, commanded this, a completely red cow, which is without blemish. And upon which a joke, a joke had not come. You shall give it to Elazar. Elazar was the son of Aaron. Some of you have a lot of this. Some of you don't. But I do, I just put a little bit more glue here. That looks like it have a lot of hair. Just like this. A red ahead and do the same on the top go ahead and put the top okay so what does it mean without blemish well actually this cow actually this cow cannot have not even one black hair no one brown hair no one white hair it has to be completely red like everything have to be red like you have they have to examine the cow so well until it become completely red Okay, so go ahead if you have a red uh, pen, color pencil or red crayon, you just color the top here and here. Okay, so but what are we saying here? Let's see what else. Let's see what else it requires. Something very interesting that it says that it has to be given to Elazar the Cohen. Elazar. And it has to be taken out of the camp. Okay, it says, you shall give it to Elazar the Kohen. He shall take it out outside the camp of the camp. And someone shall slaughter it in his presence. Elazar the Kohen shall take some of its blood with his forefinger, like this, and sprinkle some on its blood towards the front of the tent. So he grabbed the blood and sprinkled it with his forefinger. Yes, I see you. And and sprinkled, okay? Wow, so interesting. All right, someone shall burn the cow before his eyes. And now we are going to burn the cow. So we are going to put the fire. You're going to grab your fire. Um, I think, I believe I have a different style of fire. You're going to grab your fire and we're going to glue it. This is what you're going to do. Okay, so this is what we do. We're going to put our fire. I believe you have a fire like this one. I, don't know it, I believe it's a different one in your box, but you have a fire. First, you're going to place the, um, the glue. You're going to put glue. Okay, like I said, the, the reason why I didn't put the legs red because it was going to be covered by the fire, but you get that the cow is completely, completely, completely red. Okay, so you just put it on the bottom. It has to be burned before Elazar. It has to be burned before Elazar the Cohen. So you go ahead and put like two fires in here. I have this one. It was bent inside the paper. It bent up. Okay. 
So you go ahead and put it like this. You also have a yellow, I believe. You have like a nice fire in your, in your box. Um, this one, I will say for this portion. If you don't have the box, you can cut yellow paper and do this. Okay, why am I putting the fire here? I, sh I told you in a little bit. Okay, so what else does it say? It has to be completely burned before Ella starts. Right? And then the Cohen shall take cedar wood. Oh, okay. So cedar wood is the tallest. Um, it, it's a tree that is very tall. So you got cedar wood. And then, well, let's pretend that this is cedar wood, okay? It's cedar wood. High sub, okay? Some says that it was high sub grass or, but I would say the high sub the plant. High sub. Ties up and red crimson, right? Okay. So this is so interesting because um, you're supposed to put it all together. Okay. So what we do here is that it, because we have the red, um, it has the high up, the cedar, and the red crimson. Um, each one has a very meaningful, meaningful um, lesson here. Uh, the cedar is the highest of the tree, the tallest of the trees, right? And it represents haughtiness. You know, the sage said represents someone that is haughty, arrogant, rightful. And the high stuff is the lowest of the bushes. So it represents someone that is humble, right? So we, you put the glue here. You have to put a lot of glue if you like. You can tie them. You can tie them if you like. The high up with the with the crimson and the cedar wood okay and this is how it will look but then you're gonna put the rest of the fire on top which is you have to be completely burnt completely burnt okay i already put my glue here to stop the camera so after you put it in the torah says that it has to be thrown into the fire yeah the torah says that it has to be thrown into the fire, be burned completely. The cow, the, the paraduma has to be completely burn, burned before El Azar. The cohen with the high up, with the high up, with the cedar wood and the crimson thread. Okay, this is so interesting. And then you put the rest of your fire here. So you know the elements of the purification. This is so interesting. And why would how would they require all of this? Isn't that interesting? Remember the episode of the golden calf? Well, the golden calf, and they, hold on, before I continue. You're gonna grab your sticks. I believe you have the real sticks, or this one, I think. You have this one in your box. And you put the sticks like this, like if they are the wood, you see, completely burnt. <laughs> and, let it burn before El Azar. And the ashes, actually, he have to, it have to remain to purify the people that are, the ashes serve as a purification for purification. So this is a great lesson here, even though we don't know all the mysteries, why Hashem does the things that he does and how he works in such mysterious ways. Um, it's very interesting that this cow, we had a golden cow, and now we have a red cow, a para aduma, that actually cleanses a person from touching a dead corpse, dead body, and also reminds us of idolatry. We should not succumb ourselves into idolatry. See, there you go. You have your red cow with all the elements that... Um, all the element my fire got just got like this your fire look must look cooler because i make very nice fire for your box so you can put all the wood you want or i don't know if you have regular sticks i believe you have regular sticks in your in your in your box and just get do it like this so it has to be completely burned that's what the, that's what the torah says the cohen shall immerse, immerse his clothing Oh, okay, it says it hides flesh, his blood with his dung and his burnt 
So it has to be burned completely. It cannot have anything. They cannot take anything out of this house. It has to be completely burned. Okay. And the Cohen shall immerse his clothing and immerse himself in water and afterward he might enter the camp. And the Cohen shall remain contaminated until evening. The one who burn it shall immerse his clothing in water and immerse himself in water and he shall remain contaminated until evening. Pure man shall gather the ashes of the cow and place it outside the camp in a pure place. For the assembly of Israel shall remain as a safekeeping for water sprinkling of the purification. Why must the cow be red and no any other color? The color red always hints as an avera, while the color avera is uh, impurity. When looking at the red cow, the children of Israel reminded all their sins. Gold has a ready shine. The red cow atones for the gold Bene Israel donated to make the golden calf. We must, why must the cow be perfect without a moon, without defect? He says that the children of Israel sin with the golden calf. They are perfect because they have just received the Torah. They lost their perfection when they when they adore the, the golden calf. Why is the calf burned again? It reminds us that the golden calf was also burned by Moshe. So okay, so that's part of the ritual purification. Here we see that we have a complete burnt red cow. The cow is hiding behind all the fire, the wood, the high stuff the cedar wood and the crimson red it reminds us that we always have in Hashem we always have the opportunity to return in Hashem he give us the solution to the problem and he give us a way to come back to him okay thank you for participating in garden of life garden of life is the place where you learn to love Hashem thank Welcome to Garden of... Go, 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 go